everyone, this is the final bossman, and on today's episode, I probably shouldn't be doing any of this. Welcome to the show, I am Kyle Bossman, and today, this episode is the one year anniversary of the final bossman. Uh, I didn't want to do anything too uh, special or weird, uh, I did get a shamrock shake to celebrate. Uh, but here, check out this clip from the first episode. This is it, I got a show, thank you for helping, uh, this is the final bossman. Look how like, look how old I got in one year. I feel like I aged five years in one. Um, how did I keep the show going for one year? That's crazy. I think basically it's cause big stuff keeps happening. This week, especially big stuff happened. I get to talk about something I don't normally talk about. Leaks, big ones. So this story begins as many great stories do with NeoGAF. NeoGAF, if you don't know, is probably the greatest forum on the internet anywhere. Uh, there's, a, there's an old timey Hollywood saying that I like a lot. It goes, every movie is somebody's favorite movie. And NeoGAF is this place where every video game is the favorite video game to 80 somebodies. And they all know who the director was and they all know who did the art and they all make a funny joke about this one obscure character. It's a, it's a wonderful place. I used to be intimidated by it, to be honest until E3 two years ago, my roommate showed me the E3 GIF thread and just scrolling through that, I felt for the first time like, wow, these people love E3 as much as I do. They love video games. NeoGAF is a magical place. Fast forward to January 29th, 2014, a two day old NeoGAF member named NTKRNL whom I will refer to as NT Colonel for the rest of this episode, dropped some major strange leaks all in one night. Strange, not just in the, the breadth of how many leaks there were, but also in that they were all positive for the Xbox One, positive leaks. Uh, that doesn't happen very often that you see, oh, good news for the Xbox One. Uh, that was strange about them. The next day, NT Colonel has one comment and then disappears completely off the face of the earth. And so I couldn't really report on it because they're still unsupported rumors. You know, we still didn't know whom they were coming from necessarily. Kotaku had no problem with it though. Uh, however, just last Friday, we had a very interesting development when Respawn themselves tweeted out this picture. Hey everybody, uh, don't mean to brag, feel kind of bad about it. But check out this Titanfall edition of the Xbox One that we just got that will never be sold in stores. Uh, if I could do a sidebar for a second, kind of telling that this thing seems so much like a fully realized retail box. I mean, it even has custom sound effects like that sweet R2-D2-360. Seems like plans went pretty far along with this thing before Target and Walmart were on the phone saying, oh, more Xbox Ones? No, thank you. No, th thank you, we have, en we have enough. Okay, bye. That Titanfall Xbox One though, kind of looks familiar. Anton Enhance. Cross-reference with NT Kernel's Xbox One. Oh my gosh, that's the same thing. It's the, it's the same thing, there it is. This person showed this to us over a month ago and now it, it's here. This not only kind of substantiates every single rumor, it makes it all formally reportable news. Now I can talk about it. Now that it's here, now that this thing exists, it's kind of like, hey, <laughs> let's look at what else NT Kernel showed us. Uh, biggest thing, I guess, is that Halo 5 is not coming out this year. We will see it in 2015, according to this person. Uh, what we will get this fall is Halo 2 Anniversary Edition, a fully HD, next-gen, single-player, multiplayer revision of Halo 2. Not just that, but also next-gen versions of Halo 3 and Halo 4, all in one package. So you could see why I would be skeptical about that, but NT Kernel showed us that Titanfall, Xbox One. So here come all those halos. Here they come. Hope you're ready for a bunch of Master Chief this fall, everybody. 
uh, or as NT Kernel says, Halo 2 HD, Halo 3 port, Halo 4 port, Halo 5 in the span of one year. It's kind of worryingly braggy, but I will get to that. First, let's look at the other game announcements. So I guess we can't call them announcements, uh, game rumors. What do we call these? They're not announcements. They are announcements, basically. We have to accept them. This is the whole tricky trail. Uh, Forza Horizon sequel this fall, Quantum Break, this holiday season, as well as Sunset Overdrive, all this year at the end, crazy. Uh, Fable Legends in 2015, Crackdown 3 in 2016, as well as a, a Platinum Games exclusive title in 2016. Oh, that's crazy. I, I mean, I, I, I guess if Nintendo can afford a Platinum exclusive, Microsoft can, but that's all, that's weird, right? It's stuff we, we'd kill to know otherwise and just kind of all plopped onto our desks one night. There's even more if you care to see it just google NTKRNL and, and NeoGAF um, give them some clicks. Really insane and also kind of reassuring in a weird way when the Xbox division gets a new boss who kind of walks in and shakes hands and says hi I don't care about video games great to meet you all. It, it's nice to know that there are people behind the Xbox One who do have a long-term plan for fun games to come out. So the last part of the story, really, is who is NT Kernel? Not specifically who is NT Kernel, because who cares? But uh, basically the thing is, some people believed this was a controlled leak, meaning that Microsoft themselves wanted to put this information out there to get some good news flowing from the belly of video game fans. Uh, other people, maybe rational people, say no, that is insane. Why would Microsoft ruin two years worth of announcements? I, I honestly don't think that reasoning is too valid though. And that personally, I see this as a sort of incredibly clever way of ruining two years of announcements because you get to announce it to this small group and we'll get excited, but then none of that will spread out to the mainstream media. Mainstream media, I don't even know what that is in our case. I guess like Game Informer and Yahoo News, but those, they will not report it. That won't spread out beyond this little inner space of people who will listen to message boards. You know, they can't report NT Kernel. That name has no vowels. You can't make a story based on that. So basically, Microsoft still gets its announcements, still gets us excited about those announcements. Really, it's kind of a win-win thing. And I, I really do think that there is something fishy about these comments. Uh, when NT Kernel was asked uh, if he or she is, is afraid of getting caught, the response was, I am incapable of fear. Plus, this is such interesting stuff. And me talking about it ahead of time isn't going to hurt anything, truthfully. We're all chomping at the bit for it to come out. This is not bad. Why chomping at the bit? Like, I don't mean to pick everything apart language-wise, but I, that's kind of my thing, I do. Chomping at the bit is a phrase that I have not heard any human being use for genuine excitement. I've heard stoked, I've heard amped, I've heard pumped, I've heard jazzed, I've heard just excited for, or can't wait, but I've never heard someone say chomping at the bit. It's like, hey, dude, did you hear about Halo 2 anniversary coming out this fall? Yes, I'm chomping at the bit. Another strange, strange quote to me. This is NT Colonel explaining the plot to Sunset Overdrive. Everyone drinks this effing drink overcharge XD or whatever, and either turn into one of these giganto monsters or you die. This big corp, a Microsoft lol, takes control of the city trying to wipe this excrement out because it's their drink and they effed up. Anton Enhance, Microsoft lol. That part, man, that part really sticks out to me. Why do that? To me, that's like, why did you, none of us were thinking Microsoft, why did you jump to that? And it, 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 to me, it seems like defensive. You know, it's like, it's like a mom sneaking onto her daughter's Facebook and asking, is anyone interested in having a beer party this weekend? Moms are lame, right? I am chomping at the bit for alcohol. It is, it is a strange thing. I, I think we'll never know. I think we'll never know who NT Kernel was or is or will be. But my own personal theory, if you're willing to hang on for a second, I think that this is like the 35 year old son of like some Microsoft executive who got real worked up one night, just hopped onto NeoGAF and said, 
NeoGAF, if they only knew what I knew, they would stop making fun of the Xbox One. Here we go. Now you know. Stop it, man. What are you doing? You're going to get your parents in trouble. Regardless of, uh, of whether this was a controlled leak or an extremely damaging leak, uh, this is something we kind of like have to acknowledge now. Now that that, that actual Titanfall Xbox One exists, we kind of have to look at these leaks and say, oh my gosh, these are at least likely to happen. And that is crazy. The internet is crazy. And that is the episode for this week. If you're on Twitter, you can find me at Kyle Bossman. Thank you for supporting the show for this past year. Or if this is your first episode, thanks for watching this one. I will be back here next Wednesday, and I hope to see you then. Thanks for watching. Hi, uh, just got your email. Hello, brother. Yeah, hi. Uh, welcome to Game Trailers and everything. Have you met everyone at this point? Yes, I quite like this workplace. In fact, I'm having lunch today with Michael Damiani and his girlfriend, who is quite cute, by the way. They make a very adorable couple. Did you know they met at a deli? Yeah, so uh, you wanted to talk about my show, yeah? Yes, Kyle. I've been noticing a correlation between the titles and views of your most recent episodes. You'll see here, Nintendo, wah, 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 not great. Then, tactical espionage reaction. I don't even get the reference. Of course you don't. Trolling trolls who troll. Why? Terrible episode, you deserve those views. Then, ooh, something something PS4 something something. You nearly doubled your views. And then, Donkey Kong is better than Mario. Why? Why would you do that? Who cares about either of those characters? Do you think this is the fan letter section of Game Pro Magazine? No, I mean, that wasn't actually what that episode was about. Do you think you're cute, brother? No. I was just, like, trying to make a fun episode. Let me ask you this. What is the title of this week's episode? Oh, um, I was thinking something like clever, like, uh, NT Kernel Emissions. You fool. No, I was thinking something more along the lines of Xbox Doomed, Details Inside. Xbox Doomed, Details Inside? No, don't wink at me, okay? Because I'm not titling my episode like that. Well, it's not really your decision, is it? I've been becoming quite close with your executive producer. Mr. Mime, we've been sharing some very interesting ideas. Who are you? What do you want? I'm here to help, brother. Now, when you say brother, are you saying that like the guy from Lost? Or do you mean biological brother? I'm saying it like how black people say it. Gross, okay? You're a gross man. I knew it. I knew there's, some, there's something weird about you. Okay, because like, I don't, I don't like you. I don't like, you make me so mad. I can't, why? Because <laughs> there's only one bossman in here, and it's me. Uh-huh, not you, liquid bossman. That makes no sense. You're, you're not even real. I don't get you. What are you? What are you? What are you, oh, you make me so mad. I'm gonna get you fired. You're out of here, buddy. Me is, I'm gonna, I'm the one who sticks around. You're gone. So bye bye, this is your last day in the office. Bye, me, I'm the sticking around. You can have long blonde hair all you want, okay? You can comb it or whatever, I don't care. I don't even, you can scram, okay? This is my domain. This belongs to me. I'm the king here, me. Uh-huh, okay. Adios, amigo. We're not brothers. You know who's your brother? <coughs> Satan. Have a good day, brother. Look, I don't like doing this, but I need your help. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I, I meant to call someone else. No, I gotta, no, everything's okay. I promise.
Okay, goodbye, Graham. I love you. Look, I don't like doing this, but I need your help. Graham, how did I do that twice in a row? <laughs> yeah, that was dumb. No, I promise, no, everything's, I'm just, it's a whole other, it's a whole other thing. No. Okay, yeah, send me a picture of that, that is funny. Okay, all right, I'll talk to you later, I love you, bye. Look, I don't like doing, Graham! Come on and make some